What's good? It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com. Today I want to show you how to set up your Behringer BCF2000 um, to control Ableton Live for mixing purposes. Uh, the BCF2000 has been around forever. I think I've had mine for about seven years. Um, but I don't see many videos on how to actually set it up to work with Ableton Live. I'm using Ableton Live 8, the standard version. Um, basically, here's how you get started. First thing you're going to want to do is take the actual BCF2000, excuse my mic for a second here, you're going to want to actually hold down this fourth button right here, fourth button from the left, top row, and turn it on at the same time. That's the first thing. What this is going to do is it's going to send it into Mackie control mode, where you see that NCSO, like you see right here, that means that it's in Mackie control mode. Once it's set up here, you're going to go to Ableton Live. Alright, now we're in Ableton Live. This is kind of my raw default preset. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go into Preferences. And you see I'm kind of already set up here. But I'm just going to walk you through the preset. I'm not going to necessarily um, disconnect it. I don't think that's necessary. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, I forgot to turn my MIDI controller back on, is I came down here to where it says control surface. These are all of your MIDI controllers. Your console, control surface is the actual mixer. So it's whatever you're mixing with. So I have an Oxygen 61 uh, MIDI keyboard, which is disconnected from my computer right now. But if I were using that to mix, say I didn't have my BCF around, I would set that up as the control surface. And then of course set the input um, to where my keys are coming from. And set, or wherever my MIDI is coming from, rather, and my output to if it's going out to anything. Usually, useful synths. For an example, with the BCF 2000, I can actually use this to control sound modules, which is good. Say I get some rack mounts or something I want to control with MIDI. Um, my Oxygen doesn't have um, MIDI outputs; so it doesn't have the standard five pin. But since the BCF does, I can use the BCF to actually control them without having to buy a separate MIDI interface. So it's a nice little convenient thing. Um, but as far as setting this up for live, you want to go into Control Surface. Now if you notice, I select Mackie Control. The reason why I selected Mackie Control is because my BCF2000 right now thinks it's a Mackie controller. So that's how it's actually set up. Uh, if you set it up in Behringer mode, for some reason it just doesn't work out right. I don't know why it doesn't. Uh, also, the BCF has three ports on it, so I can set up the mechanical control surface. So input um, on BCF 2000 port number one, that's going to be the USB port, that's the one I'm using. And then they output to BCF 2000 port two, which is going to, of course, send the MIDI back and forth so we can actually control this thing with more right faders. Um, then from there, you're going to go MIDI um, ports. I said select the remote because it's a remote controller. I'm not controlling tracks or anything like that with it. I'm just using it to mix. So I turned the input and output on on Mackie control output for the BCF2000 and the input, of course. And that's how I set it up. And you, as you see, if you look at audio track one, it's controlling my audio track, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Um, what I will add here. If I had my keyboard controller hooked up and it was set up to control surface, it actually would cause a conflict. And if I wanted to use the BCF as a um, control surface, I couldn't have my keyboard set up as a control surface. That's very important because Live will only take what's at the top of the list. Um, as far as each option, so if you have several control, several control surfaces going, it's only going to take the top one. Um, but anyway. That's how you set up the VCF 2000 with Ableton Live. If you have any other questions, please feel free to um, leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out KevWestBeats.com.